What's up everybody? It's me, Jasmine Denise. Welcome to my channel. If you are here for the first time, thank you for coming. If you are always coming back and watching my videos, thanks for coming back. Um, today, obviously, um, if you watch my previous videos, <clears throat> I'm not a big fan of green at all. I think it's ugly. I hate the color. I really do. I don't like the color. So instead of doing something I actually wanted to do, I did um, a green look today and and <clears throat> I actually don't hate it. So um, if you would like to stay and watch how I did this look, um, stay tuned. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think of the wig. It's new. I've never bought a blonde wig before and um, I'm living, living for this wig right now. Um, too bad I can't wear it to work. But, uh, yeah. So, without me rambling on like I usually do, thanks for coming. And always make sure you like and subscribe because you already hear. I mean, I'm popping. I mean, why not? So, yeah. So, uh, thanks. Okay, so first we are going to do my brows. Um, I ordered Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Pomade in the shade Ebony. And I was super excited to use it again because it's literally the only thing that I can really use on my brows. I don't have to use, like, I mean, like, I'm barely tapping it. Not that much is coming off. Excuse the random hair. But, um, yeah, I... I'm literally touching the surface and I wanted you guys to see that and it's still a lot of product. It takes me a while to get through one of these <clears throat> and it is $18 so if you feel like it's not worth it I'm telling you it lasts a super long time and that's back when I was doing my makeup pretty much almost every day and now I can't so it should actually last me a lot longer. Just make sure you have the top on and don't dry it out but there's ways to get around that too if it does dry out. But yeah, I'm just going to show you, um, show me doing this brow real quick. Uh, it's been a while since I actually used it. And I mean, like I was saying, like I was barely, like I haven't dipped into it yet again. And I got most of my brow pretty much done. And filled in, as you can see, like I had dipped back in. And that, I mean, that spoolie works wonders too. And then I go back in just a little bit to darken it up. Um, I did forget to set my brows for this one though. But they just look so nice. And I mean, if I was going to set them, I would have actually just used some translucent powder. And not actually any like shadow to fill them in. Because you can get them pretty dark with this pomade. And as you can see, look, brow is bomb. So I'm just saying like, it, it looked really good. And uh, you can build and build and take your time with this and you know usually I'm never satisfied with my brows but I was pretty happy that it took me like that little bit amount of time to do that one but yeah I I really enjoyed it and it I, I recommend buying that product definitely you know especially if you aren't good at doing your brows because it still has the pomade effect so you can like wipe it away and fix it up and you know it's just like it's good I can use it just like a brow pencil but the, I feel like the the pomade and the brush gives more precision and then I actually did one eye off camera y'all using this green uh, this is my new Morphe palette I just ordered a few days ago um, all these shades have names and I did not look at them. So um, I took this lighter green shade. This is the Morphe palette. I want to say Boss Baby or Boss B Word. I could not remember. But um, it has a lot of bright shadows in there. And that's pretty much what I bought. I bought three different palettes with really bright shadows. And um, it came up really well. I had previously uh, put on my eyelids my... Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade um, Maple, and I'm just packing that green on there. I don't need to. I don't need it to be really, really. I mean, it showed up pretty good. I actually feel like I didn't have to do quite a bit. It has some fallout, but that doesn't bother me. So I just wanted to see, you to see how green it was that I was packing it on there. 
nice transition color. I want to use nothing but green for this look. Um, except for my eyeliner. Because I don't have green eyeliner. I have white from NYX. And I completely forgot to use it for this look. But I had already got done. And here's my other palette that I actually got off Amazon. And I think it's supposed to be like a mock of the Morphe 35B palette. It says it's the 35E palette. And it doesn't have a logo on it. I got it from Amazon. And these were amazing uh you see that green goes on there with ease they're so pigmented um i thought it had a yellow like in that corner near my chest where uh i'm holding it and it's actually just like a really light orange which was kind of disappointing because you know how i feel like i've been waiting on a yellow to do well one because yellow is my favorite color but i've been trying to do some looks and i really need the yellow so i went back with my morphe palette the boss be whatever it is and um went back with that green and just wanted to make sure it was nice and blended and i didn't want to leave a harsh line and even though i hate the color green uh this was looking real good on me and i was mad because <laughs> because it looked so good i just wanted to do something simple though i didn't want to do anything really complicated because um i didn't want anyone thinking i purposely ruined this look because i didn't like green so, um, I wanted to use all green. And I know people are, are, a lot of people are doing the, I want to say, Christmas, the Grinch look and everything like that. And um, I love the movie The Grinch, but I just wanted to do a nice green look because I wanted people to show. Just because I don't like a color doesn't mean I don't know how to use it. You know, in that order. So... I just wanted to go in and I took the same concealer that I already used on my lid, the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Maple, and I went on my um, lid. And I really didn't want it to be a halo, but whatever you want to call it, I just put a little right there. <laughs> Excuse me. I put a little right there and um, I took this green, which was really hard for you to see. It had so much glitter in it, but it's a nice bright green it didn't matter you could see it on my brush it was like really bright green and I put it on there and I thought it was a nice pop color and you can see I didn't put as much concealer as I did on the other side so I can actually still just go out and around it and the green will still show up and I just took the previous green that I had and went in a little bit more and I thought it looked really good And I'm also going to take this angle brush. By the way, all these brushes that I'm using are also from Morphe. They were like $2.50 and $3. I got seven brushes. Plus the palette and all together was $63. I loved. I really liked it. But um, I actually bought this gel liner. This is the first time I'm using gel liner ever. And it's it was it reminded me of the brow pomade when I was putting it on which is not a bad thing it was really smooth it was it was doing what I wanted but it was just weird it being not so um not so smooth as like when I just use like the liquid eyeliner which I also use um on my other eye and when I did the other eye I did the liquid liner first and then I did the gel on top and I don't know if there's a certain order you're supposed to use it I know people who exclusively use just the eyeliner or um, the gel liner and just like regular eyeliner so I wasn't really sure so I use both because it seems anytime I'm doing my eyeliner and I'll really put it on put it on and it'll end up cracking or looking dry and not as like dark and pigmented so um, I really didn't want that so I just used both and that was my Revlon skinny that I've been using and I thought it, you know, it looks really good. I really, really enjoyed it. Y'all know me. It's, it takes me a minute to really put on some eyeliner. But I just wanted to show you guys. Plus, I wanted to show you guys how I do it with the tape. Um, because I did have it taped. Because I didn't want any fallout on my face today. And I already took my tape off the other side. And, oh, well, there you go. I'm taking it off. But, yes, I just thought it was an easy green look to do. And 
as you can see like my green um, concealer was a little off I fix it later but um, I'm gonna go and put on these lashes that I'm gonna show you what I was using there they are and they're the wispy ones I didn't want any um, really big ones today not for a certain reason and you can see I don't take the glue that is used to put them on um, the plastic that they come in I don't always take that off because especially with the smaller ones the lighter ones like these wispy ones it really didn't make a difference whether I took it off or not and usually if I don't want to put a lot of the glue that I actually use to keep them on there the glue that I already has on there helps a lot I just wanted you to see how I put my lashes on. I always start in the middle and I always do the inner side first and then I do the outside because I always feel like if that the last piece of my lashes got messed up the outside I can just add extra glue to and fix. You know I don't have to take the whole thing off because I did the inner side last and it dried up too quick so then I can't like just put extra glue in there without messing my eyeshadow up. So I always do the outside last and um, I just squeeze them on there and I was pretty happy with what it looks like. Um, like I said, I'm going to fix that other side, but here's the final look and I was indeed feeling myself. Plus, I have my new wig that I also ordered on top of my makeup and I didn't think it would look good on me, the blonde and honey, what lace. I look bomb. Okay, that green eye and everything looks really, really good. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Enjoy coming to my channel, hearing me speak about how great I am and how great my makeup looks. But no, I really do appreciate it. Like and subscribe. And please, please, please keep coming back for more. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys later.